Coronavirus vaccine imminent. How long would it take till the whole community is protected or until we reach what they call herd immunity? Earlier, I spoke with UCSF epidemiologist Dr. George Rutherford, and he says six months from now is a best case scenario. It's going to take a while. Um, and, you know, 70% of California is 28 million people. And, um, you know, it's not going to it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take months to get to that point and you know but we would hope that we could I mean, we would be there sometime during the summer we got this question from a viewer once vaccinated does this mean you can still be a carrier and spread to non-vaccinated persons unknown uh, we're putting the studies together now to figure that out once and for all with several vaccines likely how much does it matter which vaccine a person receives if you're here you're really only having the moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, assuming the Moderna vaccine gets uh, gets authorized, they're roughly equivalent. It's not like you can start one and finish with another. You got to take the two doses of, of the same one, but it's going to be what's available, frankly. And um, you know, if you go into the into your doctor's office and they have the Pfizer vaccine and you want the Moderna vaccine. Just get the Pfizer vaccine. That's my advice. And another uh, viewer question here. What are some serious side effects we should be worried about? And are there certain people who should not get a vaccine? There are no serious side effects that uh, have shown up in the trials. And the trials have uh, 44,000 people in them. Uh, there were no more side effects in the vaccine group than in the than in the placebo group. The vaccines only authorized in people from 16 and above. Right, so we don't know about children. We also don't know about pregnant women. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology is meeting tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. to try and figure this out. And we would hope they would have a recommendation about pregnant women by the uh, end of the day tomorrow. But it's everybody's on this kind of fast track to make these decisions and, and move forward. As quickly as possible. We seem to be seeing this post Thanksgiving crush of COVID positive cases. So what does that say about the dangers of folks gathering for well, Hanukkah, which has begun the upcoming Christmas and New Year's holidays? We have a complete playbook open in front of us and, and as to what happens uh, if you get people together. Uh, we've seen um, we're still uh, experiencing the spike from Thanksgiving. We haven't been able to turn the corner on it yet. Hospitals are closing because the ICUs are filled. You know, the answer is, you know, this is not the time to be having big family parties. Uh, this is not the time to be having holiday parties. This is the time to hunker down in your house with your household members. Unfortunately, you can put, you can do it next year. You can do it this summer. Just don't do it right now. All right, Dr. Rutherford, thank you so much. I always appreciate it.